Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Proceed alone. So says the gods. Well, uh, Your Majesty, and the gods have the final say. Mm, I would have loved to go with you, my king, but, but I will be here waiting. Yes. Uh, but please be very careful. I shall be. I shall be. And I shall be afraid of nothing. Yes, yes, go. I go alone from here. Somebody help me. Someone help me. Somebody. Where are you and where are you? I am here. I can help you, but you need to be quiet. Because whoever is after you might still be pushing you. Where are you? I am here. Are you blind? Oh, I am here. I am here. Oh, I'm here. Um, oh, come on, let me help you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? I don't know what hit me. to run back here as fast as I could. But the, the chief priestess said that the king never made it to her shrine. Hey, wait, it can't be. Don't say that. Where, 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 where? Our king. What has happened? Could it be that he got lost on the way? Or was he kidnapped? Ichi Nduka, from the look of things, Ichi will virtually come to every look and cranny of this forest. 
Yet the king is nowhere to be found. And I keep asking myself, where could he be? What kind of bad omen is this? What bad omen? Hey! Hmm? That a king ventures into the forest and magically disappear. But it, it changed the I mean, what do we do now? We have to continue to search for our king. We must continue to search for him. Search everywhere. You, this bush. You, this way. Okay, this way. Search! Let search! Me, let me speak. Search! Search! How do you feel now, Your Majesty? Ah, I feel better. Thank you for saving my life, young man. Who, who are you and, and what is your name? My name is Emodi. 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 What, what, what are you doing here alone by yourself, uh, in the middle of the forest? Uh, everyone who loved me is dead. And nobody wants to take me in because they think I'm a bad woman. Ah, abomination. They're all dead? Yes. Ah. And the, the, the herbs, the leaves, I'm healed. How, how do you learn to do this? Ah, my mother was a herbalist before she died. So I know leaves and roots by me touching them. I feel stronger. And, uh, Your Majesty, some people have been looking for you all through the night. Ah, that must be my people. I know they will search for me. The kingdom must have been thrown into confusion now. Your Highness! Uh, the... Your Highness! That is the voice of Ichi Induka. Your Highness! They are here again. C can I get up now? No, no, no. Your Highness! Get them. I'll be right back. That is a chill to cast voice. I know they will look for me. Ah. Come, 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 come. I, 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 I. Have you called Otaka the warrior? Yes, I did. And he gave me his word specifically that in no distant time they will be here. Better. Better because if, if the queen gets to know of this, she will pass away. Who are you? Just follow me. I, I, imagine! Look at this bush blind man! I hope you know whom you're talking to. In case you don't know, we are the entourage of the king. So yeah. tell me, who are you to order us to follow you? Mm. I see. But what's the value of an entourage without his king? What? Such a nerve. You have your wife not on you. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Leave him alone. Young man, why do you ask us to follow you? Follow me if you want to see your king. Chendu, what do you do? Are we going to follow him? Let's go. I think you don't know what you're doing. Shut, Shut up. up. Come on. Stop here. Stop. Stop. Uh, Believe me. I think this blind boy is playing game with us. Look around. There's no one here. Something hit me hard on my way to where I was going. Two different times it hit me. I don't even know where it came from. And I lost consciousness. But this young man saved my life. Yes, he saved me. This young man? Yes. 
He saved me. I don't know how he did it. Who must have committed such atrocity? From where could that come? Induka, I did not know who attacked me. I didn't even see anyone. I just felt it, the heat two different times. Hit me so hard. Your Majesty, mm. I swear by the gods, we will search and find that person and make sure the person is being hung at the, at the market square. Mm. But this young man saved my life. And I promised him by the gods that whatever it is he requests of me shall be given to him. Young man, make a wish. Whatever your request, like the king said, yes, will be granted. Money and jewelries means nothing to me. I want the king to give me the first thing I'll hear when I get to the palace. The first thing you will hear when you get to the palace? <laughs> That's a strange request, young man. <laughs> what if what you hear first are the dogs barking? <laughs> then you make the dogs mine. So, so shall it be. Then by the gods I shall give you what your request is when you get to my palace. Hmm? Thank yeah. you for saving my life. Your, your Highness, yeah. you're strong, Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Help, help me up here. Guards, help me up here. I feel strong. My son, whenever you are ready, I shall be expecting you at the palace for your blessings. Hmm? Let's go. May you live longer when really, you are my child. Thank you, my son. Take care of yourself. I shall be back. I shall be there at the right time. Uh, even at that, we mustn't take chances. Yes. yes we, we must get to the root of this matter. We must get to the root of the matter. But I don't understand. That boy touched me and the pain seemed to have gone away. Well, well, thanks to the gods. There, 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 there is a mystery. Every month the king keeps throwing festivities and his people rejoice. Listen, let me tell you, I ate so much, I had enough to eat. If not for my pride as a big boy, I would have packed some in my pocket, even drinks. <laughs> in JK, in JK, I was also looking at the same direction. But I am so happy and I will be praying for our chief to give him long life, yes. to keep him alive for us. <laughs> Listen. Our king is so merciful. He's so merciful and kind. But what I don't understand is why some people want him dead. Why? Ah, the bar proves me that after some years, even the culprits have not been found. 
What about I, 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 let's, let me, let, let me take my leave, but, um, <coughs> I still have to say this. Our king is too kind and too merciful to, 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 to be killed by some, some, some kind of stupid people. Whoever that is planning to kill our king, my in-law. Yes, my in-law. I didn't tell you. <laughs> I was actually eyeing the princess. The princess is in love with me. Very soon, the king will be my in-law. <laughs> I, I, I will marry the princess and I will soon be the king of this community. It will be your end. It will be your end. Namashubri. Say that again, no, no. <laughs> it was wonderful. Uh, I really enjoyed myself, and everyone drank and ate to their fill. You know, I had my own fair share of that drink. <laughs> mm. And when I saw my people rejoicing like that, it gladdened my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I told myself, for as long as I remain the king of this kingdom, I will make sure there's reason to rejoice, be merry. And celebrate. Yes. <laughs> we shall continue to marry, enjoy our lives. Well, 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 we're tired. But when will the kingdom enjoy? We have nothing to worry about. Our harvest is bountiful. The health of my subjects are top notch. We don't ah. have things to worry about. <laughs> May the gods be praised. Yes, amen, amen. Ah, what a day. Will it be? <laughs> what is it? What happened to your finger? It's nothing, just a little cut. Don't tell me it's a little cut and you're putting on a plaster. Come on, my princess. You have to be careful next time if you're doing anything. I will. I love you, Lucy. I love you so much. But we can't keep doing this. Doing what? I mean, hiding a relationship as if it's a sin or it is some sort of disease that must be kept out of the sight of the people. Udena, don't talk like that. You know I love you and I'm proud to be with you. But you also know the reason why we can't go public now. I, I don't care. I don't care what the public or your father would do or say about it. I am not afraid of him. What we are doing is against the tradition of our land. You have your place and I have mine. I get it. Your place is in the palace. Why mine is in the shrine. You are meant to inherit the throne. Why I am meant to inherit the shrine. You see? We are two different people from different world. 
That's not what I meant. Then them the tradition and, 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 and let's do the right thing. Okay, listen, I want to be with you. I really want to be with you no matter what. Listen, Lucy, let's tell our parents the truth. Please. Now is not the right time. We will eventually tell them. My love, please, let's not rush things. It's all right. My mom will equally be mad at me if she finds out about it. We'll figure out what to do about it, all right? But I, I, I really want to be with you. Me too. Okay? How are you? Fine. I heard you cut yourself today. I just wish mother would stop announcing to everyone. You just need to cut. I hope you're okay now. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Mm. You know, I'm quite surprised that you went out even though you were hot. That means where you went to must have been very important. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Like to share. I just went to see a friend. <laughs> Little female. <laughs> Jump question. Question number one. It's none of your business. In fact, you have to start going. I want to sleep. No, your only sister. If you don't tell me things, who will you tell? I said leave. You have to go back to your room. No, no, go no. Bedtime! Mm, but you tell me some other time. Okay, yes. <laughs> Ow! No! <laughs> me, I'm just speaking because, because of one thing. I know! Oh. Night -night. Oh. She didn't share. You know, Lucy loves to keep secrets. I'm sure it's nothing. I believe that there is something very important that she's hiding from me. Well, well what do you think that would be? I don't know. I don't know, but I will find out. I'll find out. Okay, good night. My shiny star, Lucy. Do you remember my friend, uh, Okonko, the minister? Remember his first son? Yes, I do. He has always liked you. Yes, he has always expressed interest in you. And we were talking some time ago now, and we talked at length. And uh, it came to me that it would be wonderful to have a union between both of you. Father, 
How can I possibly be thinking about marriage at a time like this? I want to finish school first. What do you mean time like this? Well, you're a graduate already. You are a graduate. I know, but I need to further my education. I want to get a master's degree. That was never our arrangement. You promised me after you graduate, and now you want a master's degree. It's important to me, Father. I need to get it. Father, I'm sure marriage can still wait for a few more years. Now you are in support of your sister, huh? Well, let me tell you this. My friend's son cannot wait. He's ready to do it right now. And he's a kind of fine, upright young man that I will want to be heir to my throne. Um, sweetheart, why don't you give her more time to think about all that you just told her? Hmm. Is that what you want? Yes, Father. Very well. I will give you some time to think about it. But you must come up with the right decision. Thank you, Father. And you, if you are a It will be your turn soon. I have my eyes on one young, fine man in the community. But, Father, I'm still very young. That's crazy. <laughs> Young indeed. We won't. You will. Princess, this is not the road that leads to the supermarket. Mind your business. Otherwise, I'll cut off your tongue and give them to you to chew. I'm sorry, my princess. I don't mean to disrespect you. <laughs> Don't defy me. I'll be back soon. Just wait here. Are you okay? He wants me to marry a certain rich young man. He won't let us be together. All right, I know you're tense, eh? Just calm down. Calm your nerves and tell me what happened. I just did. He wants to marry me off to his friend's son. No? He can't do that. Yes, he will. He intends to do it. Then let's stop him. Wow. Let's tell him the truth. See, tell him you love me and you want to be with me. My father will not be happy about this. Oh, for goodness sakes, Lucy. Listen, it mustn't be your father, your father always. Well, why don't you think about me, think about yourself and, and us? The things we share together, the times we've been together. Are you going to let all that be a waste because your father will not be happy with it? Okay, come to talk of it. Who predicted for your father when he wanted to marry your mother? Nobody. Listen, it's me and you, and nobody else. I love you and nothing will change that. I can't afford to lose you. Me too. 
Hechi, what is our princess doing in the bush, if I may ask? What is more strange is our queen insisting on us following the princess. She has never asked us to follow Princess Ifi before. I think she believes that the princess is hiding something from her. My sister, how else can you explain the princess running into the bush on her own? It is obviously suspicious. It is very suspicious. Ah. I love you so much. I don't care if you're the chief priest's son. And I love you too, my princess. Then let's run away. Let's run far from here. No. We, we can't just leave our families like that. Families that don't want us to be together. I know. I know, but your father... He, he, he will have a heart attack if he finds out that you planned on running away. Fine. I'll tell him the truth immediately I get back. But I don't care how he takes it. He must know the truth. I think that is the right thing to do. Okay. Get to the palace. My mother will ask you where I went. Tell her I went to the supermarket. Do you understand? Yes, my princess. If you tell her anything else, I will personally ask for your head to be delivered to me on a platter. Yes, my princess. <laughs> Everything being considered, I still think this is the best decision for Lucy. Well, Your Majesty, you might think so, but uh, uh, does Lucy like the young man? Is my question. Uh, but that will be determined after the marriage. Hmm? Yes, because um, see, this, this Tony young man is a fine, young, and uh, upright young man. Hmm? He's quite upright. And uh, Lucy will grow to love him after the marriage, when they begin to live together as husband and wife. But plus, they are childhood friends, so it should not be a problem for them to be married. Well, uh, it's okay. So it be be, being childhood friends is one thing, and then Lucy herself liking the man is another thing. So, uh, personally, I think Lucy will not agree to that. You know Lucy, your daughter. She is as stubborn as yourself. You're quite right. She's quite right. She, 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 yes, she, she, she's stubborn. Mm. She's, she's silently stubborn, I know that. But she's still my daughter. Well, yes. She will have to listen to me. Huh? She will have to listen to me. Well, if you say so. Oh, um, it's almost time for the next meeting. Let's, let's head in. But something goes wrong. The gods are angry. Do a quick, quick tick. Says the clock. No evil, evil. Greetings, my princess. How are you? Fine, sir. My beautiful daughter. My shining star. How are you today? You flatter me with your words. In my mouth, there's no flattery, my dear. I speak the truth. Good. Father. Yes. Please, I need a little bit of your time. I have something very important to discuss with you. Oh, now is not a good time, my daughter. I'm preparing for a meeting. We shall talk about that later, huh? But it's important. Ah, my 
daughter. As you can see, I'm about to prepare for the meeting with my council of elders. I promise you, whatever it is, if we cannot handle that today, first thing in the morning, we shall talk about it. Hmm? Okay, Father. So where did she go? Uh, my queen, uh, um, where did she go? Smoke it. My friend, are you insane? Speak up! Where did she go? She, she went into the bush. What do you mean by that? She refused letting us to follow her. We, we stopped by the bush part and she went inside. She stayed for a long while before she came. It's okay, out. it's okay, it's okay. You'll be rewarded for your loyalty. And you, I'll come back to you later. Now get out! Okay, no, no, I couldn't tell him. But definitely I will tomorrow. Yes. I love you too. Bye. <coughs> How long have you been here? Well, long enough to hear you say I love you. Lower your voice. Lucy, what's going on with you? Who are you secretly dating? It's no one. Uh-huh. And if you're hiding it, then that means it is very, very unacceptable. Mm -mm. No one decides what is unacceptable in my life. Prince Charming. Okay. Fine. But promise me you won't tell mother. Um I I promise. Ah, nah, I won't tell her. You promise? Mm -hmm. You promise? Mm -hmm. Okay. Udenna. Which Udena. This is my son. You are just here. You can't even help me. Uh -huh. What is wrong with you? The princess will kill us. Who? Do you prefer the queen to kill us? Hey. Well, must you tell her? I value my job. And I will not lose it because of one spoiled princess. Well, I don't know your own mindset though. Well, if the princess asks, I am going to tell her that I had nothing to do with this, so you better count me out. Teresa, Princess Lucy might be the princess of this palace, but the queen is still in charge. I rather prefer being in the right side of the queen. Do this thing fast, I beg. Help me now. I beg, do fast. I'm tired. Oh. This day was so stressful. And you're stressing me again. This is bad. This is so bad. I mean, it's extremely bad. Don't you think I know that? 
father would choke if he hears this. Of all the boys in the world, he had to be the easy most son. I love him. And he loves me too. When did all this love thing even start? Since we were children. Huh? He always brought me gifts each time he comes to the palace to deliver a message. Eventually we became friends. And then lovers. Lucy. How could you even let this happen? See, listen. Udena belongs to the shrine. And you belong in the palace. It's against the tradition. He can never be king. Damn the tradition. I love him. Well, father will never agree to this. He has to inherit his father's shrine and become the next Ezemo. He can never be king. Okay? with you. We have been here for 10 minutes and over now. You have not said a word to me. Father, I... You know, you can always talk to me, Lucy. Is it money that you need? No, Father. Absolutely not. And then talk to me. What is the matter? You are so tense and uptight. And I know singing relaxes you. How about sing to your father? Let me hear that your lovely voice again. Maybe that will relax you. Hmm? to come to the palace to beg for money? I say to see the king. And what business 
does the king have to do with a blind and homeless man like you? Yes, I'm blind, but I'm not homeless. The king owes me, and I'm here to collect my money. How dare you accuse the king of owing you? Are you out of your mind? What is going on there? Your, your Highness, uh, it's nothing to worry about because I will throw this peasant out of this palace immediately. Yes, you owe me, Your Majesty. Hey, Mardi. Yes, it is I. Bring him over here. Yes, Your Majesty. Body. Truly, it is you. Yes, you are my So good to see you again. Huh? So what took you so long? I've been expecting you. It wasn't time, Your Majesty. Well, now that you are here, what did you hear when you walked into my palace? Name your price. It'll be yours. <laughs> I told you long ago that money means nothing to me. Ah. Well, I heard a song. A beautiful song. And... I want the Tibera of that voice. <laughs> you must be insane. <laughs> that was my daughter's voice. You want my daughter? I want you to fulfill your oath. <laughs> you know that is not possible. <laughs> Name your price. Whatever you want, ask it to be yours, not my daughter. Your Majesty, I want you to fulfill your oath. Do to me as you had promised me. You must be insane. You don't expect me to bestow my daughter into you, a wretched blind man? Now I advise you. Ask me for anything. Whatever it is that will better your life, it will be yours. You have nothing to offer my daughter. So I'll give you another chance. Ask for anything now, it will be yours. Give me what is mine and nothing else. I owe you nothing. Guys! What insolence? You now get this thing out of my palace. Why right, up? Stop up! The king does not go back on his words. Give me what is mine, Your Majesty. What insolence? I see you again, I'll feed you to the dogs.
the gods and all the ways of men. Do this of the gods and I'm finding out. Do what to say, do what to promise. Well, I said it in the right. Oh, yes, yes. Everything is all right, my daughter. Father just left without a word, not even touching his food. It's unlike him. What could possibly be wrong with him? I I don't know. How can you not know? You always know everything happening in the palace. Well, this one alerts me. Could you please tell me what is going on? Nduka, I tell you, if I see that young man in my palace again, I will kill him with my own bare hands. How dare he? As for my daughter, what can he do for Lucy? Huh? What can he provide for my Lucy? God forbid that I give my daughter to such... That, that, that would be punishment. Uh, please, let, let me get it right. Uh, who? Uh, exactly are you talking about that that blind man see he, you know, he came to the palace here and claimed that the first thing he heard was my daughter's voice singing to me so i must give him my daughter to post for us you can't do that is it not that same blind boy that saved your life some years ago yes Yes, he saved my life and I appreciate that. I still appreciate it up to up to the moment. I can give him anything, Luca. I can give him something else out of my kingdom. But not my daughter and son in marriage to that poverty stricken blind man. What can I give my daughter? Your Majesty, uh, uh, don't forget you gave him your words. And your words are your bond. I cannot give him my daughter. No, ah, no. That's impossible. Ah, I cannot do that. Are you okay? I'm fine. So tell me, did you tell him? No, I couldn't. Since a certain blind man visited him yesterday, he hasn't been himself. He barely talks. He only paces around. I just can't believe this. I, I, I just can't believe this, Lucy. What are you talking about? You're lying to me, Lucy. You haven't told your father about us because you are ashamed of me. How can you even think that? You expect me to believe that a random blind man made your father the king disconsented and you couldn't tell him what you're supposed to tell him. That's the truth. That's the truth. I love you more than life itself. Okay, I'll prove it to you. Wait until I prove to everyone. That you were the love of my life. Are you sure about this? Yes. And that will make me a very happy man. I mean, very, very happy. Come here. I love you.
have you beheaded for this? I told you to follow my daughter around and report anything that you see to me. And not for you to come and cook up these fatomable lies against my own daughter. Are you out of your mind? My queen, I speak nothing but the truth, I swear, because I saw her with my own eyes kissing Udena as a muscle. No, it's not true. That cannot be possible. Now you listen to me. I don't ever want to hear such such abominations from your mouth again. Do you understand? Please, my queen. Now get out. <sighs> Fool. <sighs> my own daughter. How can, how can my daughter be kissing as a more son? <sighs> That's not possible. It's not possible at all. No father to fight my cause. I have no mother to plead my cause. I have no brothers to stand by my cause. That's why I'm pleading with you to take up my cause. I have done no harm to any soul. And I do not desire any suffering upon anyone. Only seek for what was promised of me. If this is truly mine, help me make it become mine. has finally turned into its funeral home. Lately, everybody seems depressed and burdened. I am angry, not depressed. Angry. Mother, you're really angry. Who provoked you? Imagine a stupid palace mate coming here to tell me that my own daughter is in a relationship with Ezebon's son. How insane does that sound? <clears throat> very, very insane. It is very insane. In fact, uh, I would have cut off her tongue for saying such a lie against my daughter. <sighs> but, mother, what if it is true? What? Um... <laughs> No, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, what if it turns out to be true? What would you do? It's not even possible. I mean, I can't even imagine it. 
It's, it's quite insane to imagine such a thing. Ah, uh, yeah, it is not possible. What is it? Hmm? You're lost in thoughts. Uh, all is well. I'm okay. No, all is not well. Please talk to me. Okay. Lolo. Msabodi. Confide in me. I'm your wife. You know go. I made a promise to someone. Now I cannot fulfill it. I don't know what to do. What promise is difficult for you to give to anyone? Let's not discuss it tonight. We'll go to bed. We'll talk about it tomorrow. I promise. Okay. If you say so. It's okay, let's go to bed. I expected you to return a long time ago. Uh, I'm sorry, mother. I, I was delayed. I was occupied with something. I received a message from the gods today. And, and, and what did they say, mother? They said I should tell the king to fulfill the oath he made to a certain blind boy several years ago, else there'll be chaos in the land. Chaos? Um, um, Mother, I am lost. I, I, I really don't understand. Please, put me through. The king promised a certain blind boy that the first thing he will hear when he entered the palace, that he will give it to him. It turned out to be the daughter of the king, the princess, Princess Lucy. What? We simply cannot let him give her to him. See, I, I can't lose her. I simply can't lose Lucy, Mom. <laughs> Don't worry, my son. You will not lose her. Because your mother will never, ever deliver that message. But if you do not deliver the message, Mother, won't the gods get angry? They will get angry, but they will not strike their own. I belong to the gods. Your mother belongs to the gods. Do you understand what I'm telling you, my dear? Father, I don't desire anyone's presence at this point. Father, I need to speak with you. Take a seat. with someone really, really special. Now is not the time for such issue, okay? It's not the time to discuss that now. I'm in love with Udena. He is a most son.
By the gods! That charm placed on you by that boy will be destroyed. And you will come to your senses. I promise you that. It's no charm. It is love. No. It is taboo. That's what it is. Father, please listen to me. No. You listen to me carefully. I forbid you from saying anything that has to do with that boy again in my presence. Or do anything or go clear close to him. If I have to change you down in the palace, I will do that. Do you understand me? I'm a grown woman now. I'm a child. Grown woman in my presence. You are my little girl and you will listen to me. No, I won't. Yes, who is it? What? The reason why your phone with their kingdom is here. What? What brings you to my kingdom? I bring you a message from the gods. Fulfill your promise to the blind man. Or cures will invade your land. The princess belongs to him. A king's word is his vow. Stand by your word. And what promise are you talking about? Now listen. You go and tell your gods, I shall not bestow my daughter into any poverty-stricken blind man. I will not do that. What is going on here? Hold your peace, my daughter. Fulfill your promise to the boy. The gods will bring down fire and brimstone if you don't fulfill your oaths. Everything lies in your hands. Do not defy the gods. There is another solution. Vacate the throne if you cannot bring yourself to fulfill the book. My husband, how could you have made such a promise? Don't you know that as a king, your promise is more like an oath? A bond. No, no. The young man saved my life. So I owed him something. Couldn't you have promised him money, power, anything? I mean, why would you put your daughter in such a situation? You are spoken right. But how was I to know that the first thing he will hear will be my Lucy's voice? How was I to know? So how do you intend to fix this? Because the girl seemed to be on the side of the blind man. I think the girls are bluffing. Yes, they are bluffing. They cannot, because of one single person, punish the whole kingdom. My husband, how can you say such a thing? If it were to be true, the girls will have warned me through Ezemu. Ezemu will have been warned. 
Your Highness, you want to wage war against the gods? No, 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 no. Far from it. I'm not waging war against the gods. I'm only telling the gods to reconsider. Because I will neither vacate the throne nor bestow my daughter to one wretched blind man. I can't do that. The gods have to reconsider. Hi. You have to reconsider. Coming, the door is open. Lucy, what have I done to deserve this curse upon my life? You haven't done anything, Lucy. No, no. I must have done something. I must have hurt someone. Because I know this kind of things don't just happen. I'm sure Father will find a way to figure this out. He can't let you get married to that blind man. But that is the reason why I'm in this situation. He is to be blamed. How could he do this to me? Oh, you see. Calm down, okay? I'd rather kill myself than marry that stranger. No! No! Please don't say that. I beg you. Don't say it. See, listen. All of this, all of this will blow over soon. Okay? Yes, we will overcome this. Come on. It's okay. Ada! Give my key. Give my key. Hey, please remember to write something for me. Otobo, Otobo. Hey! You checking on me, huh? <laughs> the only friend I have in this community. Woo! Longest time, Otobo, eh? Let me just give you two. Take it, take it. Mm. 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 Yeah. Otobo, you're a stupid man, eh? <laughs> Where are you going with your bike? Uh, just normal, you know, trying to go out so that uh, I can survive. See, I, I just came into this community, into this village to. I don't understand. I just came to ask you, what is going on in our community? What is going on? Most of our brothers out there, like in the city, are complaining a lot. You're my friend. What is going on, Otobu? This land is cursed. Cursed. This land you are marching, almost everything that is affecting both people from, uh, 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 people from this village that are in the city, is all from this land. You have a king, active king for that matter. Uh, you have chief priests and the elders. What are they doing about it? <laughs> see, see, see my, my, my brother, the, the, the king is silent about the whole thing. I'm telling you, he's silent. Not that he at least tell us something, say, uh, uh, everybody go, things will be all right. He knows what is happening. The same thing that is happening in this land is affecting everyone that is from this village that is hustling at the city. Look at me. Look at me. I'm growing tiny every day. Tiny. Every day. Look at my bike. I just bought this bike. I must hit the bike before it starts. Hey. Anyway. Our land is cursed. Uh, welcome. I'm sure you brought something for me, Abby. Uh, come and take it. Let me offer you cola. Let me offer you cola. I am not in the mood. You've spoiled. Ah. So I, 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 let, let me start going. I'm talking about food here. Ah. Otobo, you, I don't want to, but... If you I just, know you! <laughs> are you sure you have something? Where you let go, where you have to go, let me go. Somebody help me! I 
I can't see. My God, what is happening? I can't see. The ways of the gods are not the ways of men. The ways of the gods are past signing up. Do what you say, do what you promise. Time is too short. Time is no good. Evil, evil. The ancestors have forsaken me. Leave my presence. Even without your crown, sitting on the throne, drinking, and you look drunk. I mean, what happens when people come in here to see you like this? Eh? Lala, I am a curse to my people. I'm a curse to this throne. We have to do something about this. There is no way out. There is no way out of this. Huh? Your people are suffering. Something has to be done. Ah, no way out for me. If I vacate this throne, my ancestors, they will curse me from their grave. And I cannot give Lucy to that man. If I do that, Lucy will curse me for the rest of my life. I am doomed. Then, let's try sacrificing to the gods. Ah. I had a meeting with the chief priestess. <laughs> it is pointless. The gods don't even want my sacrifice. They don't want my sacrifice. We have to do something. We must do something about this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Your people are outside, down with different ailments. Some are dying too. If they are sick, they should go to a healer. Not to me. I am the king. I am not the healer. They've done that, but the sickness won't go away. You know this is a curse from the gods. We have talked about this, Lolo. We talked about it. There is nothing I can do. This is beyond me now. Huh? My husband, I want you to take responsibility. What can I do? I cannot force Lucy to marry that blind man. I can't do that. Then beg her. Talk to her. She's your daughter. Are you actually considering that as an option? Of course I am. I am considering it as an option. Go and see what is happening in our community. People are sick and dying. And it's only a matter of time before this sickness and death catch us up in this palace. 
I can't even look at my daughter in the face. She hates me now. How will I open my mouth and tell Lucy to marry the wretched blind man? I can't do that. But, but if you think you can talk to her, by all means, please do. May the gods go with you. Ify, you don't have to lock yourself up in the room like this. Oh, hey. How could you deny everyone access to you in the palace? Alone. <coughs> Mother has been worried. You'll be fine. I just want to die. I... No. I just want to <laughs> kill no, myself. No no. no, 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 don't talk like that. See, we are going to look for a way out of this. Trust us. You'll be fine soon. Okay. If you want me to be alive, then you have to marry him. What are you talking about? You have to marry the blind man. I will never marry him. <coughs> Don't you think you're being selfish? Everybody is suffering because of you. No! <coughs> Everybody is suffering because of father. And I will not pay the price. Even for my sake. <coughs> Even for the sake of your only sister. <coughs> what do you mean? The doctor has the solution over my illness. No good result. <laughs> oh, would you rather want me to die? Gods, my princess, you look terrible. They want me to marry him. I have to marry him. No, I can't let you do that. People are dying. But it's not your fault, my princess. Listen, I am going to die if I lose you. I don't know what to do anymore. I have found the cure for the curse. Are you serious? Yes. But you have to get married first. It's no time for that. Come on, princess. Have you suddenly forgotten who I am? Have you forgotten that I am the son of the chief priest of this community? Listen. My mother and I can make it happen the traditional way. I don't understand. How is our marriage going to break the curse? Do you trust me? Yes. Then do as I say. Go with me. In the eyes of the gods, both of you are now married.
So is the course broken now? Almost, you see. Listen, eh? you have to go home now, all right? Tell your father about our marriage. Show him the beads and let him touch it. Once he touches it, the course will be undone, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll see All right? Take good care of yourself. Don't hurt yourself, please. Eh? Mother. <laughs> <laughs> you will never see that missing me. But let me repeat it. Getting intoxicated will not solve the problem. It will rather worsen the situation. But I'm helpless. You cannot be helpless. Stop saying you are helpless. Because you are not. Do you know I cannot look at my daughter in the face now? Father, I have found a way to break the curse. Married Udena. What? Married who? You see. Why? Mother! I did what I had to do. Udena is now my husband and the heir apparent to the truth. Ah! What have you done? Princess, I'm over here. It didn't work. It didn't work. My father is dying. All right, let's go. I, I, I think I can help you. Yes. Be clear. I think you can, you can shatter all our plans to achieve. Don't tell me you were the one who tried to kill my father. 
five years ago. Oh, yes, I am. Besides, I was just following my mother's wise instructions. So, you dated me because your mother asked you to do so? Yes. But it seems you see. You are a very beautiful girl. Very beautiful and attractive and radiating, I say. But I value the throne more than I value you, you see. I never really loved you. You were just um, the means to my key to success. You animal! You are free to hate me for all I care. You are free to hate me as much as you want to. But the people are going to love me when I when I finally give them the cure for their cause. They will have no other choice other than to accept me as their one and only king. The cause cannot be broken. Oh yes, it can. I was actually telling the truth when I said I have found the cure for the curse. All I needed to do was just kill this stupid blind boy, and your father's oath with him would be no and void. You see? All this bloodshed. All this bloodshed for what? Oh, just for the throne money, and not for love. And now, it's time for us to stop living as peasants and start living like royalty. And now it's time for me to take my rightful place as king of this community. And I am going to strangle you with my <coughs> What's wrong with your father? My father is dying. That is all my fault. No, 
My princess, it is not your fault. Five years ago, I was the one who saved your father. And that was from the power that is within me and not the herbs. I can still save him. Take me to him and I'll save him. Is my father. My princess. My princess is inside. Is fine, his heartbeat is fine. I'm afraid we need, he needs a specialist. Doctor, he needs a specialist. Is there nothing more you can do? Doctor. I was only unfair to the man of your daughter. I was only following my heart when I heard her sing because her voice dragged me in such a way that I could not resist it. Well, I have decided to vacate the throne because I cannot force Lucy to marry you, so I will vacate the throne. Hey, Your Highness. No, Your Majesty, you cannot do that. The princess doesn't love me after all, and I cannot force her to. Only fell in love with her from the sound of her voice, and I thought she would do same when she saw me. But no, it never happened. I I call off the oath myself because it's broken. Oh. Oh. You did that. You are such a good man. The more did. You will make a fine king. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All is well now. All is well now. Yeah. 
People are free from the curse. Thank you very much for everything. You're such a nice person. But I wonder how the worst things happen to the nicest people. Princess, my blindness is not a curse. I believe that certain things happen for a reason. If I wasn't blind and living at the forest, I wouldn't have made your father the king. And I wouldn't have saved him. I wouldn't have made you as well. You are perfect to a fault. Thank you very much. Do not thank me, my princess. It all happened because of me. But it's okay, I'm sorry about that. I must be on my way. You take care of yourself. Chilera! Chilera! Please come. Yes, please lead him out. My son, your majesty, greetings. And you sense my presence already. Yes. I am here with Ichi Educa. Greetings, Che Educa. Hey, uh, Modi, how are you? I'm fine. What brings your presence to my heart? Ah, uh, my son, I am here on behalf of the entire kingdom and on behalf of myself. For you have done so much for this kingdom and for me in particular. You have saved my life more than one of you know, two occasions you have done that. Uh, and, and it's atonement time. I saw you trying to cook, make something for yourself by yourself. Now, that will stop henceforth because the place has been prepared for you in the palace where all you need shall be brought to you. I wish I live like a king. Hmm? And uh, that promise of the first day uh, is now brought to you. That is, if you are still interested in marrying my daughter. Your Majesty. 
Tell me, who will ever take out bread from his mouth to put a stone? Ah, oh, very well. Very well said. Rice, my son. Rice. Rice. Rice, my son. Rice. Now, in that case, you go into your little hut there and clean up. I shall send my people to come and pick you up and bring it to the palace. But come sunset tomorrow, the celebration will be in full string while we shall receive you as the heir to the throne, the husband of my daughter. Ah, your royal majesty, thank you very much. When you need long, my king. Ah, Emodi, who would have thought of me as the heir to the throne? You have earned it, my son. Ah, the gods have finally answered my prayers. Yes. Indeed, this is a destiny for me. Ah, you live long. Baby. 